what am I getting myself into? Hi guys, welcome to my first video. My name is Nick and I'm going to start studying mechanical engineering at the ETH and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Okay, okay, hold up. Let me give you some context. My name is Nick and I grew up right here in Switzerland. Zurich to be exact. I went to public high school in the heart of Zurich that was focused on mathematics and science. After graduation, I spent 10 months in the Swiss military. And now I'm starting mechanical engineering at the ETH. Okay, that's enough about me. Back to the video. Now first off, what is DTH? Well, according to Wikipedia, DTH Zurich is a public research university in the city of Zurich, Switzerland. Founded by the Swiss federal government in 1854 with the stated mission to educate engineers and scientists, the school focuses exclusively on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In the 2021 edition of the QS World University Rankings, DTH Zurich is ranked 6th in the world and 2nd in Europe, and if you sort it by subject, 4th in the world for engineering and technology. It also has a sister university that is called the EPFL in Lausanne. The Department of Mechanical and Process Engineering is the largest of the 16 departments that are at the ETH. And because ETH was meant for engineering mathematics, the mechanical engineering department was one of the first to get introduced in 1855. There are more than 2,600 bachelor and master students, more than 480 PhD students, and more than 50 professors at this department. Its vision states, the, D mm. the Department of Mechanical and Process Engineering educates students for excellence in leadership in science and industry. We perform cutting edge research in the international arena, tackling the challenges faced by the Swiss and global community through engineering innovation, our various technology fields. Let's talk about the curriculum. First off, the compulsory courses. These take up 107 credit points of the 180 needed to complete the bachelor's degree. The compulsory courses are split up into different times of examination. The first time would be the Balsis Prüfung, at the end of the second semester that covers everything that you learn in the first two. Then you have an exam per semester, so the third, fourth and fifth semester you have one block of examinations that covers the courses that you had in those semesters. In the first year examination you have Analysis 1 and 2, Chemistry, Informatics 1, Linear Algebra 1 and 2, Machine Elements and Innovation Processes, Mechanics 1 and Mechanics 2, Engineering Materials and Production 1 and 2. Those are all going to be tested on the first exam block and you can see the weighting here. So analysis one and two count 16 fold, whereas chemistry only counts three fold. In total, you have to pass all the exams on average with a mark of four. Additional courses in the first year are gonna be the innovation project and technical drawing and CAD. In the third semester, you'll have analysis three, dynamics, dimensioning, thermodynamics and control system. In semester 4, physics 1 and 2, electrical engineering 1, fluid dynamics and thermodynamics. In the fifth semester you'll have fluid dynamics 2 and thermodynamics 3. Now in addition to those compulsory courses you'll also have electives. Six electives must be chosen to complete 24 credit points. It is recommended that you do three in the fourth semester and three in the fifth semester. Some of the electives are Bioengineering, Dimensioning, Control System, Introduction to Quantum Mechanic for Engineers, System Modeling, Mass Transfer, and so on. There are a lot of electives to choose from and you have to kind of look at what your focus is and then choose those electives accordingly. Or just some that you're interested in. Engineering tools take place as block courses in the first week of the semester. Five engineering tools must be completed for a total of two credit points. These contain MATLAB, C++, LaTeX, and so on. The labs in mechanical engineering are about four to five hours long and you complete them with one to three partners. Here you learn about laboratory research and there are a few really cool practica that you can do. One of them would be absolute zero or aerodynamic research in a wind tunnel, um, elasticity, the friction coefficient, Faraday's law, in total, 10 labs must be completed for another 2 credit points. 
In guest courses, students learn the correlation between scientific knowledge and cultural context, as well as individual and society. It's kind of a ethics course. You have to take either three courses which give you two credits each or two courses that give you three credits each. Then there's a focus specialization. This is probably one of the coolest parts um, about, this, about this bachelor. And you get in total 20 credits and you can do them either in biomedical engineering, energy flows and processes, management technology and economics, manufacturing science, mechatronics, micro nanosystems, or design mechanics and materials. You have to choose one of these focus specializations or you can do a focus project. Here, three to eight students work for two semesters on a project and some really cool projects that have come out of this are, for example, in 2016 and 17, Project Atlas, which was a helicopter all-terrain landing gear. Then 2018 to 2019, Project Chiron, which is a hyd hydraulically actuated robotic arm which carries a set of interchangeable tools on its base able to complete the process of cutting out ice blocks and stacking them to build a wall on its own. And one of the coolest ones that we've had at DTH was AMZ or Formula Student which built a, an electric car that holds the world record for the fastest acceleration from 0 to 100 k, k an hour or 0 to 60 in the US with 1.513 seconds. This one is awesome. But they also have stuff like Elon Musk's Hyperloop and of course there's the Bachelor Thesis. You can either do them on your focus project that you did, which you're required to do, or you can do it on something else. And then there's one thing that doesn't take place at the ETH itself, which is the workshop training. You learn stuff like soldering, welding, um, cutting metal and stuff like that. In the first three semesters you'll cover most of the basics of mechanical engineering and then in the fourth and fifth semester you'll focus either on more theoretical stuff or go more into simulations and in the mass of course it's going to be focused even more on biomedical engineering or, um, or computer engineering, whatever. Now from my experience I'm going to start studying mechanical engineering in a week as I already told you and I made this video to kind of help some of you out because I myself had a lot of questions about this about this bachelor and how the whole thing is gonna work and I might do another video on how I prepared for the ETH and I'm gonna probably keep you updated on what is going on and how I study and if you have any questions shoot me a DM on Instagram at Halicon or write it in the comments below.